Hello everybody, Steve here, and today I have another master lock from my little master collection. And this one is a master lock number seven. So you can see that little guy. Here's the keys. Get a good look at that. Okay. So this is a master lock number seven. And uh, you know, last week, or was it last week? Somebody had one of these that they were picking and it didn't have anything written on it. And I think it was this one, because this is, according to my tape measure, about 30 millimeters, or just under an inch and a quarter, approximately, wherever you measure that at. And, it does say number seven on the bottom there. It's, yeah, you, okay, I get the little bit of, out of the shadow, but up there at the top it does say number seven. Oh, there we go. Number seven, master lock. <clears throat> and so here is the keys. It's a pretty good bidding on those things, pretty flat and So let's see what it takes to open this up. So let's zoom in a little bit there. And we'll show it working. Nice little snap there. Okay, all locked up. And since this is a small lock, we're just going to use our wiper blade insert tension wrench in the top of the keyway. And we'll use a Jimmy Long short hook. I'm going to try the, the round tip because it seems like it uh, reaches up to the pin number one a little bit better than the other ones do than the other one does but anyway so we'll put this since it is a small lock I always like this tension wrench in the top of the in top of the keyway so I can have some room probably some you don't need heavy tension just very kind of light tension is all I really need so I'll go all the way to the back And start on pin number four. This lock is this lock can be a little bit of a bugger sometimes. Okay, nice click out of pin four. Okay, let's come up to pin three. Didn't sound like a very good click. Maybe slipped off. Sounded like something, maybe. Okay, let's come up to pin two. Not feeling anything on pin two. Pin one. Not feeling anything, so I kind of wonder if that pin three just didn't get set quite right. So let's reset this real quick. The hardest part is trying not to overset on this guy. So let's start again on pin four. Okay, nice click there. Pin three, nice click there, pin two, nice click there, now pin one, reach behind the tension wrench and get on that pin. Let's 
trick is trying to make sure you're on the pin and not pushing the tension wrench. <laughs> okay, I got a click out of that. I not very loud. Kind of there we go. It's open. It did open. Still turned a little bit. Let's see. There we go. Whew. It still it, it opened and the tension wrench flew out. But it was still turned just enough. Didn't go back, thank goodness. <laughs> anyway, there we go. We got an open on that guy. Not too bad. Not a little, little tiny lock. So, let's, let's get back out here. So we have master lock number one. Master lock number three. This is a master lock number five. This is the master lock number seven. And as far as the regular laminated padlocks, the next one I have is the master lock number 15. <clears throat> so. <laughs> I don't know why they didn't go small, medium, large, but this like medium, small, large, medium, I don't know what they're thinking, but anyway. So number one, three, five, seven, and 15. And of course there are many others that I don't have here, but these are the ones that I have. And even though I do have some of these others like this and I know on the package it will say something else like 313 or I think this one says said 317 if I'm not mistaken and this one said this is an old lock so I have no idea I know the new ones that I've seen like this have been said 311 but <clears throat> but they're basically the same kind of lock so I'm not going to I'm not going to do those ones, but anyway, that's it for for me today. That's it for the laminated padlocks I have. I have a couple other ones here, but these are just warded locks that I have. A couple little warded locks. So I'm not going to do those, but as far as the regular pin tumbler laminated past pad uh, master padlocks that's the last one as far as my collection and uh, I might have or I have something else coming that might have to hold up for a little bit of surprise for you all but anyway <clears throat> that's all I have for you today um, thank you for watching make sure you leave comments down below and make sure you leave a like and definitely subscribe and <clears throat> let me know what you think in the comments and and uh, thank you very much for watching and have a wonderful day